some time ago, I made a review of the Fire Maple Sunflower Stove and Portable Space Heater. And I remember commenting at the time that it wasn't the most efficient at boiling water, may not even be the most efficient as being a portable space heater. But boy, what a great stove it would be for cooking over. Well now, Fire Maple has come out with at least one accessory for their sunflower stove, and that is the sunflower grill. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this unit, keep watching. So the Fire Maple Sunflower Grill, what a nice little unit this is, especially for this time of year. I'm out again today in the woods, and yes, we're still under a fire ban, but I want to cook some sausages. And this provides me the ideal opportunity for cooking sausages or steak. I've done chicken, and I've even done a hamburger on this. But today it will be sausages. So basically what we have is a small cast aluminum grill that is hard anodized and then covered with some type of a non-stick coating. I'll give you the specifications in a few moments time when I put it on the stove to cook my sausages with. But yeah, it's just a nice little grill. Now I'm going to show you the bottom of the grill because it actually has a set of notches, two set of notches, one here and one here. And these are intended to line up first off right on top of the sunflower stove. It's intended to mate with that perfectly. But it will work with a number of stoves as long as they have four pot holders, usually arranged in a cross pattern or a square pattern. And then this should match up with most of them. So it's going to be a quite versatile in that respect. Now this is not the only thing you get when you buy the sunflower grill. It does come in this stuff sack and to go along with it is a set of tongs. Nice little set of stainless steel tongs and uh, the nice thing about these tongs is that they're designed to use with the sunflower grill so that you can place it over your heat as well as use it to of course do your cooking with. All right so it is lunchtime so I am going to set this up, get it heated up, put my sausages on. I'll do a little bit of a demonstration on this, then I'll share my thoughts on it. All right, let's get the stove lit up and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. So I have it here. I'll need to turn the fuel on. It is a quiet running stove. I can't always hear the gas running with this stove. No, not yet. Here we go. I can hear it now though. Boy, that's quiet even when it's running at full open as it is right now. It's a very quiet running stove. So as it starts to heat up, uh, I'll just mention that if you're interested in knowing more about the Sunflower stove itself, I'll put a link at the end of this video where you can watch that review if you're interested. It, Like I said, it is a quiet running stove and uh, it has a lot of uh, adjustment to it so I can get it down to a very fine low heat. And the way I know it's heating up right now is because I can see the wire grill on top starting to get nice and red. All right, let's get the grill itself on. I'll show you how this works. I probably don't need it yet, but if you take the tongs and insert it through the handle on the end, then you can just kind of find the lock-on place for it. Oh, not like that, of course. One more time. With a little bit of finesse this time, maybe. There we go. That's a bit better. There we go. All right, that's a bit better. Now, it's locked on in place. I mean, it's got a little bit of movement, but it's not going to fall off of the uh, stove itself because of those notches on the bottom. Now, that's going to heat up very quickly. I have my two sausages here. Get the two of them on. They are not a pre-cooked sausage. It was going to take a bit of time to get these all cooked up, so I'm not going to record the entire cooking process for it. Now, as far as adjustments for the heat, you do have to kind of play with the stove a little bit or play with the, the um, regulator a little bit just to get the right amount of heat. But like I said, it's going to take a few minutes. So what I'll do is I'll cut away and as these cook up a little bit more, I will bring you back and uh, then we'll talk a little bit more about the grill and I'll show you how well it does for cooking the sausages. So the wind picked up just a little bit here. That's why you can see the, the windshield now just kind of blocking the window to the north. They're close, not quite done. You know, these were, as I mentioned, as I said, full-on raw sausages. I don't want to take them off too soon, but I don't want to burn them either. So you can see getting some nice grill marks on them. All right, just as these finish up, let me give you a few specifications for the grill itself, and then I'll, I'll finish up my lunch, eat it, and then we'll close the video up. But the whole unit, the grill itself, comes in at 6.7 ounces, which is 190 grams. Now, if you add in the 
tongs, that adds another one ounce or 31 grams for a total with the stuff sack of 7.8 ounces or 221 grams. It is 7.6 inches in length, 193.5 millimeters, 4.8 inches in width, which is 121.5 millimeters, and they measure at one inch height, but now that, of course, would also include the notches and the rails underneath, which I think, and as I look at it a little bit more, they do two things. They do provide a place for it to lock in on the sunflower grill and whatever other gas stove you're going to use it with, but it also does give it some structural rigidity, I think. It just keeps, not that this is going to warp in any case, but, you know, just a little extra strength as well. You know, I think those may be done. They feel pretty good. All right, another couple of seconds of grilling. I'm going to take those off, let everything cool down as I eat my lunch, and then we'll wrap this video up. Do you know what a treat it is sometimes when you know you can't have a fire because of the fire ban and charcoal is just too much of a hassle? You want to use a small gas stove because of the convenience, but most gas stoves are not set up for grilling. And uh, that's the nice thing about this sunflower gas stove is that it is, because of the wide heating surface, you can cook over that with this grill, a small cast iron if you want to go through the effort of taking that out or probably other, any other pan of lightweight nature, uh, you know, anodized aluminum, titanium, stainless steel, whatever else you want. It makes a great little cooking stove but matched up with this grill which is lightweight by itself. It was perfect today for grilling up some sausages. I really enjoyed that. So um, let me just show you the put away of this. So these are the tongs that I showed a few minutes ago. What I didn't show is uh, when it first came it had just a little twist high kind of holding the ends together and of course that's long gone so all I did is I took a little zip tie and made a loop out of it that I could use to hold the tong ends together when I slip it into its stuff sack and the other thing is clean up now it's got a little bit of oil or grease on it from the sausages obviously and uh, I failed to bring a cleaning kit out but that's quite okay I always have a bandana or two in my pack somewhere and you know I mean, it's not going to suffice for a proper cleaning with soap and water, but you almost wouldn't know that I had used this. That's, you know, it doesn't feel greasy or anything else. That's a nice non-stick surface. Yeah, this got a little dirty, but that's okay. That's what I'll clean up when I get home. Put that in the stuff sack. Drop the tongs in. On the side, there's a little side pouch right there. Good to go. Okay, so what are my closing thoughts on the sunflower grill to go along with the sunflower stove? Um, perfect for when you want to grill something like, like a, my sausages, hamburgers, chicken, pork, steak, you know, whatever else it is that you like to bring out into the woods and you can't have or don't want to go through the work to either create a fire or bring charcoal along. It's nice, it really is nice to be able to use this little thing in combination with each other. I don't know if Fire Maple is going to come up with any more accessories for the Sunflower, but uh, this one alone almost makes it worth looking at the stove if you buy these things in combination. Okay, I think I've said enough on it. I really enjoy that lunch. So simple to cook and so good when you can't do it any other way. Uh, I'll put the links for it in the video description below. I'll put the specifications for it in the video description as well, but you're welcome to leave any comments or questions regarding the sunflower grill or stove and as I mentioned I'll put a link to the sunflower stove video at the end of this one if you want to go back and have a look at that. All right until next time get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.